What you want to do is you want to put your complex numbers into the trigonometric form, which we talked about in a previous video. But when you multiply the two complex numbers represented here by z1 and z2, what you do is you multiply the r values and you add the angles. But when you divide, you divide the r values and you subtract the angles. Now, addition is commutative, but subtraction is not commutative. So you want to be careful when you're dividing. If you're dividing z1 by z2, you want to make sure that r1 is in the numerator, r2 is in the denominator, and that the angle of the comp first complex number is subtracting the angle of the second complex number. So that order is important. So let's take a look at a couple examples. Say we want to multiply these two complex numbers together. We're going to multiply the r values, so that's 8, and we're going to add the angles, so that's going to give you cosine of 90 plus I sine of 90 degrees. Now if you want to simplify this, cosine of 90 is 0, sine of 90 is 1, so that's just going to give you I, and if you distribute this 8, you get 8 times 0 is 0, so you just get 8I. So that's how you can switch back from the trigonometric form back to the standard form. So all we did was multiply the R values and add the angles. Now if you want to divide z1 by z2, now we're going to divide. So we've got 4 divided by 2, which is 2, 60 minus 30, which is 30. So we have 2 cosine 30 plus i sine 30. And if we want to simplify, cosine of 30 is square root 3 over 2, and sine of 30 is 1 half. And so by distributing this 2, we get square root of 3 plus i. And so that's back into the standard form. So dividing, you want to just take the z1 divided by z2, and then you want to subtract the angles. So this has been how to work with multiplying and dividing complex numbers. I'll see you in the next video.